This is how you can create documentary style transition in Premiere Pro. Before we kick off, we need to gather three elements. We're starting with this opening book template for the opening shot. Alongside that, we'll need one video clip and ink splash overlay for transition. The links to all assets are provided in the video description. I've already brought in this opening of the book clip art template. Go ahead and locate the frame at which a blank page of a book turns over. This is the frame that we will freeze. Just right click and click on the insert frame hold segment option. Next delete other unnecessary leftover frames. Now drop another clip on top. Once again, I want the frame where this to be freeze. But this time, make sure to initially trim the clip before using the frame hold options. At this time, our cut clip will be momentarily frozen at the designated time code. With freeze frame selected, go to effects panel, search for the fine edges effect, and double click it to apply. This effect instantly gives drawing sketch look and also a lumetri color effect as well. Now go to the effect control panel. Under lumetri color section, expand basic correction. Set the saturation to zero, minus 100 to other parameters like highlights and shadows. This will enhance it further. Now let us scale it down. After that, let's go ahead and rotate it. Then let's reposition it as well. If needed, change the scale, rotation, and position value. As you can see, it's a lot bright. It would go well if we blend it with page of book. In my opinion, multiply is the most effective, which is why I'm changing the blend mode to multiply. With freeze frame selected, if you press Ctrl or Command D, you could apply a cross dissolve effect. If needed, you can modify transition duration. I believe making a mask would be a better option. So, under opacity, click rectangle icon to create a four points polygon mask. It's each corner's points can be simply adjusted or a new point can be added if necessary. Also, remember to increase the mask feather value. Now extend freeze clip to match the bottom clip's duration. Nest both of them and give a proper name. At this frame, with the nested sequence selected, go to the effect control panel. Click the stopwatch icon next to position, scale, and rotation. Bring the playhead to the end. Now, bring down opacity of top clip. Then go on to adjusting rotation, scale and position value to match to the top clip. For smooth animation, set first keyframes to ease out and drag the last keyframes handle towards your left. Make sure to reset opacity of surfing clip back to 100%. Next, let's put this ink splash overlay over the clip on top. Let's remove this white background. So select this overlay and go to the effects panel. Look for the color key effect and apply it. By the use of the eyedropper tool, you can easily extract that white color from the clip. Furthermore, adjust this color tolerance value to get rid of white outline. Now let's go ahead and on our bottom clip, apply track mat key effect. Now from effect control panel, set track mat option to video three. We have overlay on video track three, so we need to set it to video three. I want an additional frame of our nested sequence. So double click on nested layer and increase the duration for both layers. Next, let's move the surfing freeze clip backward a few frames. In my opinion, better outcomes would be realized if the transition duration is increased. For our video track 2 again, let's apply a cross dissolve transition, then take it to the frame of overlay. Now with the overlay selected, set the keyframe for scale. After few frames, scale up to achieve a smooth animation. Set the last key to ease in and drag the first keyframes handle toward right. If it seems too fast for you, you can always adjust the keyframes gap. You can make it better. In order to do that, let's move these layers one track up. And also from surfing clip, don't forget to change that matte option to video 4. Now while holding out or option key, we can duplicate that ink overlay. On the surfing clip, apply lumetri color effect. Now, like before, adjust saturation, highlights, and shadows to lower values. From Lumetri color effect create an ellipse mask and increase its mask feather value. And don't forget to invert the mask, then to create the keyframe, 
click on the stopwatch icon next to mass path. Next, move few frames forward. Highlight the mask area by clicking on the mask. Adjust it so that it covers the entire clip. Return to first keyframe and then reduce the mask size as much as possible. You can also include text as well. Please let me know if you prefer the first one or the second one.